if any UFC division has multiple boogeymen right now, perhaps it is 135 pounds for the men, but may Rob Dwalish really, given the wrestling, given the pace, is a fight that I would think a lot of Bantamweight contenders would try to avoid. Yeah, I mean, it must be so upsetting and so frustrating to fight Marab because Marab is just on you. He's like he's on you like a wet blanket. He wants to take you down. He wants to pressure you. He wants to make you work the entirety of the fight. It's so fun for a guy like me to watch because I love wrestling, but to be his opponent would be an absolute nightmare. This guy is a monster. Volume takedowns doesn't even begin to describe it, right? It makes for a suffocating night at the office to face Mayrob Dwalish Willie. We'll see how his opponent fares tonight. Main event of the evening. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Marab the Machine, Wallace Riley. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. And there's Herb Dean, he will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, it's usually all offense all the time out of the rock. Dwellish Willie, the Georgian, the team Sarah Longo staple. As this round gets underway, you got to think he's going to go to the takedown early and often. And he doesn't get discouraged when the opposition gets back up. He chains his takedowns together as good as anyone in this Bantamweight division. And he believes that will be the path of least resistance here tonight. Oh, nice takedown defense there. Looked like the boxer might have even cracked a wry smile. The wrestler tried to get him down. 0 for 1 on the Well, it's him just kind of acknowledging that the work that he put in is paying off, paying dividends. I wouldn't be surprised if he looks over to the corner and gives him a wink and goes, hats off to you, boys. You got me prepared. Big power shot there. And now some distance as they pull up. Slips the shot. Takedown defense holds up. All right, good sign early for the boxer landing the uppercut. You can expect the wrestler to start to chain takedowns, but hard to get that done when you got that uppercut in your face. Well, that wrestler got to start to create some angles because every time he comes close now, he will see something show up in the middle. It can be knees, but I think that uppercut that's just landed is much safer because it keeps you away. It keeps your hips back so the wrestler can't try to take you down. Super Bowl. They're certainly getting out of the way. Oh, what a land right there. The center of the blow of the fight. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Heavy body kick lands. Just missing on that uppercut offering. So he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. Real good at trying to find that shot. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. Making all these shots count. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Next one, beautiful jab. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt. And he's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, now it's getting tight. Oh, the submission. 
submission defense holds up, he gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. There it is, now he's on the mount. Lands with the ground and pound. He's gotta start throwing down. And he's back to his feet, good sign for him there. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fit. Oh, big right hand. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Korean Super Bowl. Oh, and so now he lands. Oh! Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Now he's got the single collar and the clinch. Spinning back fist. Keep going Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was gonna invest in the body. He hasn't missed a whole lot of time. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch to the hip. Guillotine jump. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. position over giving up that submission. All right, man, take a seat. Three. Listen, that was awesome. You really hurt him there. I need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be a... All right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. Well, there was a moment in that previous round when it looked like we weren't going to get to this next round. Here we are. We will see the extent to which he has recovered. Let's see how he recovered over the course of that minute. They were putting water over his head. They were trying to bring him back. But I would advise him to clinch a lot in the first minute of this round. Back to his feet. Korean Superboy gets lit up by that straight punch. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> so he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Tries to work it into a takedown. Overhand right. Swing the base. Oh, he's hurt the again, bro. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, how about the accuracy of land right there? His opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt. Choi's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. In the half guard. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path 
and make the ring size position come in here and try to stop the fight. Troy's pass attempt denied. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take it on very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills in his showing right now. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Strong reversal there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Hook. He's got to be careful here. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally, he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him still even to fight it. He's got to do something different if he has any design of winning this fight. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got those four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Go box him. He's too good at it. Dwallace Will is blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. So a much different approach for him. Oh, man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. Choice pass attempt denied. He's doing a great job of recognizing that he's damaging his opponent, and he keeps going to that spot. 30 seconds to go on the round. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fair oh. oh. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after party. <laughs> well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, the Korean Super Boy, Du Ho Choi. Du Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen, a huge win for the Korean Superboy here tonight. And this